Okay, in this scene, we're going to talk about acute interstitial nephritis, also called tubulo interstitial nephritis. So acute interstitial nephritis is when there's acute interstitial renal inflammation. And that's why we have this inflammation guy over here, this fire guy over here between the nephrons, because that's exactly what this condition is. And there's inflammation in the connective tissue between the nephrons. So let's talk about this condition. So acute interstitial nephritis occurs after administration of drugs that act as happens, inducing hypersensitivity. And that's why we have all these hypersensitive nephrons over here. See, they're all crying. <laughs> they're all crying because they're hypersensitive. This helps us remember that an acute interstitial nephritis is due to a hypersensitivity type reaction. What causes this hypersensitivity reaction? Well, let's take a look around this room. You gotta remember the five Ps. Five Ps, let's explain. P for diuretics, and that's why this nephron over here is peeing. P for pain-free, such as NSAIDs, that's why we have this N that's sad over here. P for penicillin, that's why you have this pencil over here to help us remember the penicillins, as well as the cephalosporins. P for proton pump inhibitors, and that's why we have this proton pump over here that's exploding. P for rifampin, I know it doesn't start with P, but I think the rifle will help us remember that. And S for sulfur drugs, represented by this the drugs over here that's surfing. Take a look at this interstitial inflammation guy. Or girl, I'm not sure. He's levitating on top of this histologic picture of acute interstitial nephritis. We see two things. First of all, we see the inflammation in the interstitium between the tubules. And also, we see the eosinophilia. You can't see it so well. But just remember that eosinophilia, seen on histology, is almost always seen in acute interstitial nephritis. And we'll just make mention that acute interstitial nephritis may less commonly be secondary to other processes such as systemic infections, for example, mycoplasma, or autoimmune diseases, such as Sjogren's, SLE, or sarcoidosis. Finally, let's talk about symptoms. You may have noticed that this inflammation guy here looks like he's hot, and he looks like he has a rash. This helps us remember that the hypersensitivity reaction is associated with a fever and rash. It may be associated with hematuria, represented by this red blood cell in his urine, as well as pyuria, as well as costovertebral angle tenderness. But it's important to remember that the condition may be asymptomatic. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this scene on acute interstitial nephritis. Stay tuned for our next video, subscribe to the channel, and take care.